So uh, tujuan utama, I mean the main purpose of this workshop is to because based on what Dr. Rokia mentioned to me, it, um, she wanted to focus on how to create videos. Um, bagaimana kita nak hasilkan video-video pengajaran ataupun pembelajaran untuk uh, menyokong ataupun how to put it, untuk uh, support our teaching and learning process lah. Because based on what you have experienced in semester one, I'm sure you dah kind of faham apa yang akan berlaku uh, walaupun um, apa ni cabaran dia agak uh, sukar untuk reach out to every single student but i think you have experienced it and and uh, i i mean at come we we receive a lot of feedback that you did very very well in terms of coping with the mco i think rama yang membuat bahan-bahan uh, pengajaran yang sangat efektif so we would like to take the opportunity to thank you for that but I think now that that was half of the semester, now that in the coming semester, it's going to be fully online for some, although some courses will be doing, some courses will be doing uh, hybrid, you have face-to-face, -face, and then you also have online learning that will probably give you a bit of breather that you can, you can, you can relax a bit. But those who are going to do fully online, it's going to be a challenge again because if you're dealing with the same set of students like previous semester, then it will be easier for you to kind of know what they are expecting. But if you are teaching a new cohort of students or a new, you know, new bunch of students, it will be a different challenge because you might get new set of, uh, you know, set of uh, learners. Lah, okay, so I'm going to share a few things, but I, uh, the focus is on video, right? video, con uh, video content uh, element or design, but if you have a question in between, you can just ask me. So we'll be focusing on video content creation for meaningful learning. I think that's just a fancy way of telling you that some of the videos that we would like to create should not be, uh, should not be too long, should not be you know like a normal lecture. We try our best to create meaningful videos. So I'm not only I will share a few tools. I would also like you to, uh, perhaps if you have in front of your laptop, and then um, you know. Uh, you have decent connection, then you you might want to try. You know when I when I'm explaining as well instead of just listening. Okay, so I'm gonna go a bit slower. Okay. Um. So the first part, the first part of this uh, workshop will be just a quick tips on how to create uh video content, and then the tools, of course, uh, because I think this is the focus, and then how to integrate with elite activities and assessment. So videos uh, content are not just for um you know, your delivery in terms of your lecture and also your tutorial. Bukan untuk lecture sahaja. We can actually use video for a lot of things. Even bukan, bukan sahaja untuk kita mengajar, but we can also do it as a part of activity and also assessment. Not the one that you curate, but the one that you create. So today, the focus is more on the video that you curate. Create, all right? Meaning you buat. Bukan yang kita ambil daripada YouTube. Or, or you know the existing one. you can curate that that is one portion meaning the i'm focusing on the creation part right so the materials are available in bitly.flcbl you can go to that link later everything is there i put it on the wakelet already so just in case you miss anything you can go back to the link bit.ly slash flcbl right that is the the link to the to the material so uh all right, so let's warm up a bit. Boleh tak semua pergi ke wooklab.com slash flc. Kalau ada mobile phone, uh, boleh tekan guna phone. wooklab.com slash flc. Kalau ada laptop, boleh buka tab baru. Open another tab on your browser and then go to go to this link. wooklab.com slash flc. So kita buat sedikit soal jawab. Bukanlah, quiz, quiz. All right. No, no quiz. It's like I, I ask you some questions. So let me just start this one. Okay, I hope you can. Are you able to access? If you can't, just let me know. The question is simple. How many learning teaching videos have you produced last semester? Right? Last semester. Last semester. Just a quick poll to get to know what have you done so far. So we have about six, about one to four. 
four people mention Nan so far belum buat lagi video pengajaran uh, and then ada dua yang say about 5 to 9 and then dua yang mention about 10 to 15 so I'm assuming yang 10 to 15 are all bite size meaning they are smaller chunks right um, some of you may have produced well maybe you do live teaching and then you record and then you upload that is counted also but not really edited kind of video it's more of just you know you just share the video that you have through zoom and, and all that three actually done of now i have three about five to fifteen and all that uh about ten to fifteen but none so far means maybe you have not explored mungkin ada yang nak buat live class mungkin rasa lebih senang kalau buat live class contoh buka uh, class 8 sampai 10 for example you have the the live teaching that is a kind of live streaming all right so soalan kedua ialah you can still go to the same link now you will see the another question what is the greater challenge in creating uh, uh, learning or teaching videos all right type in your feedback dalam tu i'm going to see some of your feedback so far so ada yang kata uh, don't know how to create <laughs> okay device limitation need to find the main focus editing for clarity and also aesthetics uh one wondering if everyone understands you yeah that's that's a good point device limitation editing uh time consuming well not really all right but uh, it can be time consuming if you overthink about like this one if everyone understands you uh to be interactive and a boring teacher maybe not a boring teacher i guess editing and reshoot to be interactive okay i think i get i get the i get the whole picture tak tahu nak create time and device tak tahu nak create the thing is um this is like not the first workshop of course uh, when it comes to video creation i created a lot and uh, just last week i was doing with, um, a bunch of uh, educators from majlis islam sarawak um so these are all very very senior educators though mostly are dah pencen dah ada yang umur 70 80 but they were they were told to do online teaching so they kena guna zoom and back semua tu and they find it very tiring sebab kena live so they ask if they can come up with like a video yang dia boleh record lepas tu boleh buat and then you know teach the the students surprisingly walaupun you know i was expecting them to be quite uh, slow in a way but they managed to produce the videos during the workshop itself and they produce about four or five videos per person so so they get very excited and then now they can kind of like slow down a bit in terms of your punya uh, zoom punya usage too so they can focus more on the activities and the engagement so i think that's the concept that we have to have when we when we try to use certain tools we have to think about what it can do to kind of solve our problems or it maybe increase our efficiency and effectiveness not so much about using it because everyone is using it. You have to see which part of your teaching and learning delivery that should be changed into a video format or should be converted into a video format. And then you try to improve on your uh, delivery. So I get the whole point. Um, hopefully, yang don't know how to create semua ni, yang tak tahu nak create ni, by the end of this workshop, you tahu lah create macam mana kan? All right. So, cuma I, I would like to also share later in my session ni, don't overthink about the aesthetic, uh, aesthetics. Don't overthink about the editing. You'll be surprised that learners don't really care. What they care is whether they get the input from you directly in the video. Because ada yang buat video sampai satu jam, dua jam, but student only watch 10 minutes. It means only that, bukan beginning, you know, they actually skip, skip certain part, and then they only watch that part, meaning only that part is really, really important in your two-hour video or in your one-hour video. So you should have just focus on that 10 minutes and then create that that video, you know, for 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 enhancement. But you won't know it until you do it. That's the point. So tak apalah kalau you buat satu jam punya video pun, student tengok 10 minutes, you janganlah rasa kecewa. To me that's a good sign. It means you are testing whether uh you know the thing that you have produced into in the video format actually helps them to to understand or to perhaps to increase the understanding on certain uh, area of concern in your topic. Sometimes memang lah, dalam kelas it's easier for us to know. In fact, dalam kelas pun kita tak tahu whether they faham ke tak. Kalau video, actually we, we akan tahu. Nanti kita akan belajar a few tools and analytics that we can use to actually know whether they actually know, you know watch your video ataupun uh, understand the content that you have delivered. So we try to we try to go along that way. Okay. 
don't worry so, uh, so much about editing so kalau an 80 year old can create a video easily then don't <laughs> don't tell me that you can't all right editing or reshooting is just a matter of whether you 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 know you want to put it out or not because i have a lot of uh, lecturers yang even from fk the other day dia buat banyak video tapi dia tak berani nak upload i said you won't know until you upload and then once you upload so then give you feedback you know where to improve janganlah jadi negatif pula bila student kata yang video ni boring you terus uh, you know not penalize the student but student is giving you honest feedback but you will not get the feedback until you upload it online until you share it out with your learners that is the whole point because ada yang cakap tak nak buat tak nak buat tapi tak pernah upload satu video pun once you upload one video and then get it you know shared and then you will get the feedback and then you can improve from time to time all right so uh, no point talk, talking about how, don't know how to create don't point talking about no have no skills and all that if you have not done it so do it first and then try to try to get the feedback all right So um, that's that's the warming up part. All right, let's go to my next. I'm going to share a bit only. Then we go to the tools. But for online workshop like this, like a one or two hour workshop, it's not really conducive to cover so many tools. I'm going to probably focus on the one that is friendlier to you, and then you can start doing it. Why make learning videos? Uh, class session uh, can focus on activities because I've seen that you spend a lot of time doing like just one or two hours. You're talking, talking about your content. You know, um, no time for you to do engagement. And then you say, "Tak ada masa nak tanya soalan yang lain." Or student will be disturbing you after that, right? They will WhatsApp you and all that. So because your class session is focusing too much on the uh, content, which you can easily, you know, uh, convert it into video format. So your when you do like one or two hour or even three hours kind of session. If you do activities, uh, you don't feel it, and students don't feel it as well because the time pass uh, very fast. But when you are talking non-stop, slide by slide, after slide, after slide, or you give them a break to do something, uh, you know, to 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 do something and uh, and then come back and all that, it, it feels a bit tiring, right? But of course, the whole point of using video is also to cut short your lecture uh, session, live lecture, right? Better for information retention. You'll be surprised that your video will be watched over and over again by the students who are weak. Um, you can do this. I I did my survey, uh, you know, for for last semester, which I also in the process of you know, uh, publishing as well. But what I found out was the weaker one actually watch your video many many times, and when they don't understand what you have uh, mentioned in the video, they actually pull out that part and then ask you more question, which you will never get in your normal class because they 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 you know they they feel like they are afraid of ask you. Contoh lah, kalau pelajar datang tiba-tiba boleh tak uh, uh, doktor explain ni lagi? Of course, you get very angry because they kept asking you the same thing. But video, they can do that over and over again without feeling afraid, without feeling scared, right? And you should be happy because they are trying to learn. Kalau imagine kalau sepuluh pelajar datang and then keep asking you the same thing, you get very pissed off and then you don't want to entertain them anymore. Tapi video tak apa, they can keep on watch and watch. Dia tak faham ke? Dia akan watch lagi and then they will ask you the specific part. Uh, contoh saya, saya tak faham lah this part. Boleh tak you terangkan lagi? At least you don't feel like, you don't feel angry or you don't feel frustrated because they have watched your video and they still couldn't get that part. And something maybe need to be done as well in terms of your your delivery or your content, right? And and, and finally, I think a lot of people miss out this part, uh, consistent in explaining. Producing video content, for my case, is not something new. I've been doing it since the first day I, I started teaching in CLS uh, back then in 2010 because when I was teaching academic um, uh, reading and writing, My my elip um, or my, that that time more few pages are full of videos already because I produce a lot of videos which to me helps me to be consistent in explaining because sometimes kalau you ajar class generic sembilan class umpamanya by the time you reach Friday class tujuh setengah tu you tend to trim down a lot of things already sebab you dah letih explaining the same thing and then you akan rasa class ni tiba tiba tak mendapat your hundred percent they only get perhaps twenty percent of your whole whatever you try to deliver. Usually class awal awal ni tend to get the benefit of you because you get more. Or uh, or in reverse, it could happen in reverse as well. Class class yang mula-mula mungkin hari Isnin, hari Selasa tu tak banyak sangat sebab bila you dapat feedback from all the students in the earlier classes, tiba-tiba kelas -tiba hujung tu banyak pula dia punya input. So kelas hujung untung. Contoh, kalau yang mengajar banyak kelas. Kalau yang ajar uh, khusus uh, teras umpamanya, you only teach like uh, for one uh, one class then perhaps that is not an issue even then kalau you buat setiap semester you will realize last semester i cakap i think lebih lagi lebih detail tapi i dah lupa apa i cakap but if you put it in a video form 
then you can rewatch it and then perhaps top up uh, you know new content in the following semester i mean that's the whole point of doing video it's not about just to make your life miserable or to 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 you know to put student in a different difficult situation in fact to me this is very good for those who are teaching generic i tell you because if you uh, shoot all your thing macam apa lah contoh lah kalau you yang mengajar apa if you keep explaining it you know in nine classes by the time you reach the ninth class the ninth class you probably get tired of explaining it already might as well record it put it up and then you only focus okay bagi activities you know bagi latihan and all that so they they get the hang of it easier right and and faster and they can rewatch it right uh, why upload to youtube oh, another thing is a lot of uh, some some academic actually told me i ada buat video tapi i tak upload ke youtube i tak upload ke mana-mana lah i just save it dalam my my uh, either elip ada yang upload ke elip sampai elip tu penuh satu video dah satu gig sebab dia tak edit kan dia just upload je main upload je why do you have to upload to youtube actually bila kita upload to youtube it's not just about uh, for you to publicize yourself kalau you tak nak publicize macam i what i did in my channel for example you don't have to publicize pun you can put it unlisted meaning nobody can see your video only those uh, that you share the link to will, will see your video the good thing about uh, YouTube and all these streaming video streaming services is like they change your your video format to the industry standard, the H MP4, the H.264 MP4 format, where it can stream across different platform, across different devices. Your telephone slow sekalipun, guna yang yang murah sekalipun, the YouTube can trim down to a very low bandwidth and still stream the still stream the content, and they will prioritize audio, not so much about the uh the visual yet if your if your if your mobile is low end that is the beauty of putting it in the streaming platform you don't realize it but if you if you want you can see your video from different devices like in my case i usually test in different different devices just to see how it looks like and you will be surprised that it actually trims out according to the speed so there's no issue about student kata oh i tak dapat view is about the file tapi kalau you upload ke elip satu gig memang dia akan complain sebab they can download the whole file in one gig all right for example tapi kalau they stream in the uh youtube uh, punya speed one gig of video can only take up about 100 to one, uh, 150 megabytes if they trim down to the lower like 240p and all that this is just to let you know lah so jangan jangan rasa macam upload ke youtube tu membebankan actually dia lagi menyenangkan and for your case youtube also allows you to download right uh, contohlah student yang ada masalah dia tak ada internet di rumah tapi occasionally they will still go out but now kan you are we are not really confined in the space that you cannot go out so contohlah di kampung dia tak ada internet uh, once in a while maybe dia boleh ikut uh, the, the father or the parents to the town or once they go to the town or area yang ada internet they can quickly download your videos imagine kalau you buat live class dia kalau tak ada internet dia miss the live class that's it that's all tapi kalau you buat video Walaupun dia termis your session that case, bila dia pergi ke town on that certain period, they can download all your videos and they can watch it over and over again at home using offline without even having internet. This is the beauty of putting it online, all right? Uh, and because it's uploaded, uh, uploaded to YouTube and then when you download it, the file size is very small actually. You'll be surprised. Contoh kalau you buat in your normal, uh, if you are doing it in your, if you're doing it in your desktop, after you finish the output, probably it could be one to two gigabyte. Tapi bila you upload, the file becomes very small. And then when you download, it's even smaller. So that's the beauty of doing this. I'm not asking you to like hold on to YouTube, but based on all the platform that I have reviewed, YouTube is still the best when it comes to uh, streaming of videos. You can use other platforms like Vimeo, even Facebook Live and all that, but I still prefer YouTube, right? Another reason is because of this. A lot of people do not realize Kenapa some student tipu? Dia kata internet data tak cukup. This is tipu. Kenapa? Sebab most of the prepaid, even postpaid sekalipun, when it comes to YouTube, they give you unlimited bandwidth. Right? Like, contoh ni, I bagi contoh ni, internet DG Cili Padi, unlimited YouTube, uh, prepaid link pun ada unlimited YouTube, uh, and then uh, expect pun ada unlimited YouTube. So there's no issue about unlimited bandwidth. Selagi dia ada internet lah. That is why kalau you buat your YouTube video and all that, so bila dia ada masa nak download, I mean when they go to a place where the internet connection is okay, they will download because it's on YouTube, easier to download and, and save it and watch it. Uh, and also you'll be worrying, apa? you'll be wondering why, kenapa dia boleh tengok YouTube panjang macam tapi your lecture dia tak nak tengok ataupun dia tak nak hadir your live class. Sebab live class, bila you're going to webex like this or even Zoom, 
the amount of bandwidth going on and off, I mean up and down, sorry, up and down, it's very, very huge. Apatah lagi kalau you gunakan platform yang macam, uh, you know, macam apa ni, yang membenarkan mereka membuka kamera. Alright, let's say you want everyone to turn on their videos because you want to see them, right? If you allow that to 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 happen from like one or two hours, the amount of data being transferred, it's up to two gigabyte for one session. So of course, they'll be complaining. And that is not counted under the packages that they have so far. Package macam ni lah, prepaid. Contoh kalau dia guna prepaid semua ni. So they, it's not counted as, a, as part of that. Tapi kalau you upload to YouTube, ah, dia tengok lah sampai berapa kali sekalipun, even two gig sekalipun, it's not counted in the bandwidth usage because it's under all these unlimited packages. You can ask the student. Student will tell you, frankly, all this. And um, the issue is, once you do too many live classes, the, the data consumption is going to go up. So because you spend too much time using the live class, and then you find yourself repeating a lot of things. So macam membazir pula, you buat. So Allah you ambil 30 ringgit daripada setiap pelajar. Alright, bayangkan kalau you ambil 30 ringgit daripada setiap pelajar tu, bila you deliver your lecture, nampak macam tak berbaloi. <laughs> Contohlah, I mean, if you put it in an analogy. Meaning, because you spend 3 hours tu, mungkin your main content yang you nak sampaikan mungkin hanya 10 atau 20 minit. So, it's not worth that that amount of time. If you put it in that, uh, you know, mind, or uh, you have that in mind, then you might want to realign whatever you have done so far. So, that is more meaningful and more effective for the for you and also for the students, all right? So, kita akan pergi ke a few types of learning video today. Ada a few. Kalau ada soalan, just chip in. Eh. Kalau ada nak bagi feedback pun, go ahead. I, I, I'll be, I'm more than happy. You can just, you know, just say hello and then cakap saja. Sebab kalau I nak baca chat tu, mungkin tak sempat. Okay, there are four main types of video that normally um, kita akan produce lah. You know, things that we will produce in, in, in the form of learning video. Satu yang paling famous, the most famous one is talking head. It's like the one in the screen now. Talking head ni macam, macam normal live class where you are talking like this and then you're showing a slide. And then if they only see your face, it's like a talking head lah. The head is talking. And then you have screen casting or scribbling. This is very popular now, right? Scribbling maksudnya yang jenis tulis atas whiteboard and all that. This is also very popular. Slides are bought. Uh, you have a slide. You can overlay the webcam. Kalau nak, kalau tak nak uh, webcam, then dia jadi macam voice over only. They add uh, your slides and then you have voice over. That is quite popular. And last one is animation. Not so popular actually. Animation for for apa ni? higher education. We notice that high animation is not really popular except when you are doing high-end kind of animation where you animate the uh, the structure of certain things. You know, like in uh, engineering, they, they use these AutoCAD software where you, they do the animation of the surrounding, you know, the landscaping and even the architecture and all that. In our case language, maybe we can just use it occasionally for certain certain scenario or certain concept. But the most popular one is still the first three, all right? But today I'll cover like certain tools for all these four. Mana-mana yang you think is useful for you, just use it. Um, which If you think it's not really useful for your case, then you can just try out a different tool but my personal favorite so far is screen casting and scribbling and slides and board these two types right talking head to jalan jalan but boleh buat lah uh, but you can also merge sometimes maybe first part other talking head the passive screen casting why is my personal favorite screen casting and scribbling because it's the fastest to produce you can produce many videos using screen casting and scribbling too as long as you know what you you want to deliver lah okay so this is talking head. You have a head and then you talk, 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 usually for, for 10 minutes max, maybe. You can go on and on if you want to, All right? Uh, yang ni screen casting, meaning you're, you are recording your screen, whatever you do in a screen too, I can record it, right? Scribbling, like the Han Academy. Kalau you pernah dengar Han Academy, you can go to YouTube and type Han Academy, K-H-A-N Han Academy. They are famous for this. It's like you you are explaining while you are scribbling. Macam kita buat dalam kelas. Kita kita tulis atas whiteboard or when we when we write on the blackboard and all that. So this is this is also very popular, right? Slides and uh, we have your camera. Contoh, you have slides here and then you have your camera. This is from Caltech, California Tech. And then you, uh, but the famous one that I normally see is the whole screen is the slides and then you have your face down here, like the one in that you can do in PowerPoint, right? Of course, the last one is uh, animation. And one of the famous tools for animation is Powtoon. But today, I'm not going to introduce you to Powtoon. The reason is because it's no longer free. Um, 
the free one only allows you to do up to one minute. So no point for spending time doing it when you can only upload uh, up to one minute, right? But if you are willing to pay, which is very expensive, you can go ahead and subscribe. Come used to subscribe to Powtoon, but we decided not to because the usage is a bit low and it's too expensive for every single, uh, uh, you know, user. And if you have other hardware to support you, I think uh, you have like all this green screen, um, you know, like uh, iStudio. Some of you uh, may have heard of this uh, Q Studio or P Studio. I saw there are a few studios packages that you can use to do rapid, uh, rapid production of video. But today I'll be focusing on the one that you can do at home without even involving any hardware uh, outside. Okay, so let's go to the first one. Uh, I'm gonna stop this logo. You can go to this link, uh, bit.ly, bit.ly slash, that's uh, now the link is now, this uh, this particular link, bit.ly slash flcbl, so anda akan ke sini, this uh, weeklet that I have shared. So dalam ni, all the, all the thing that I will be sharing is here. Right? Tak nak terlalu banyak nanti you pening, sebab banyak sangat. Okay. Um, any questions so far, before I proceed? Ada yang... If they download you, oh yeah, just ask me. If they download it, would then they use out the bandwidth? If they download through the, um, apa ni? Through the YouTube app, now it's, it's counted as YouTube. If you download the YouTube app, when uh, when you go to any video, there's a download button, right? If you download it, it will save it in through YouTube. So that's counted under YouTube. I've tested it, right? But if you use external software, much of all this free vids.com and all that, then it's counted as a different thing. So use the, uh, student so usually will use the, the one in the app itself, the download from the YouTube, because it's counted through the YouTube streaming uh, bandwidth. Okay? You can test it out if you if you would like to try. Any other questions? That's that's for Jaslan. I hope I answered that question. If you use PC, yeah, of course, because PC is, PC is using, um, you know, your, how to put it, you're not using the uh, network when you package, can? because when you are talking, talking about all these packages, like unlimited and all that, usually they stream based on the mobile when your network. So if you use another tool, like your laptop to download, then it's counted as a, a different bandwidth, right? So yeah, I mean, students are aware of this, but you can, you can always remind them. I'm sure they, they, I mean, sometimes when it comes to downloading, they are faster than us. Yeah, they are more advanced, right? Okay. Any other question? Thank you, just done for that question. Uh, good question, by the way. I forgot to mention that. As long as they download through the YouTube app, you know, uh, you, you can try. You go to any video now using the YouTube app, not the YouTube.com on your laptop. You using the mobile because after all, they can they normally do not carry the laptop out anyway. They will use the phone to, you know, to go out to the town. Like I shared before, I I remember I shared in one of the workshop. I said, uh, one student because they're gonna tolong mak di rumah ke apa, and then every time the father go out to, to work, she will bow, suruh the father to bring the phone out because she tap the link nicely. So this, the father just need to tick, uh, kind of like tick, so that for you download, right? My main concern when doing video is the language. Most of the time, I'm very particular about government mistake when doing the presentation. Any take on this? Don't worry. <laughs> Sometimes we are too worrying about all these small, small things. We, uh, because we're so worried about people picking our grammatical mistakes. But what matters is our 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 content. My video has been shared all over US, by the way, and nobody complained about whatever mistakes I did. What matters is the the content that you're delivering. But I think you don't have to be so so worried about um um how to put it on this because uh if you want to sound more professional, you can always do the, the scripted format and all that. But if you're sharing naturally, like what I'm doing now. Nobody really go into detail. But what is more important is the written type, right? The written one. So your slides, you should check for the grammar and all that. But I have encountered, I, I, I enrolled in one Coursera, even uh, all those slides from Harvard and all that contain mistakes, you know, some mine. And the, the, the professors are just frankly say, okay, there's a typo in the slide. I mean, you don't have to be too concerned about all this. What matters is your expertise in the area and then you share it out and then, you know, uh, and do it. I have never seen any student come and, you know, tell you about all this thing, except for the slides, yes. If there are too many errors and you did not uh, rectify it, meaning you didn't even mention it in your whatever you're delivering, then, uh, you know, uh, they will probably pick on it uh, when when you are 
you know, they probably screenshot and then tell you that, okay, something wrong and, and all that. You can always delete the video again if you notice any problem with your, with your slides and then re-upload. So far, I have never get any comment on this. If you have, then maybe you can probably check on that. Uh, uh, you know, maybe maybe check on the written part lah, usually. The speaking wise, speaking wise, I think it's okay. Because they're all natural. Even even native speakers did a lot of mistakes when they deliver. If you can go go over YouTube and you watch all these videos, some of the uh, videos can, a lot of annoying uh, mistakes. So, but we what we want is the the gist. But if you're teaching language, of course, you have to be very uh, particular about that. Especially your uh, you know whatever you are trying to to convey. So uh, rehearsal will be good. Script will be good, but not. Too worried, no, too 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 worried about uh, whether people will accuse you of being not good enough for the job, right? So uh, yeah, try your best. I mean, just just share it out. Don't 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 use that as an excuse for not sharing. I have a lot of this. In fact, uh, coming from a language faculty, I think we should be the role model. Uh, you know, we should we should tell people that you just share it out. You know, be natural of convince uh, convincing people in using all this medium, because. Lecturers in like F, F, uh, you know, FPSK, med medical, some of them may not be fluent in English, like uh, some of the foreign lecturers. You'd be surprised with the English level, but they are so into it. And students are appreciating the effort because they get what they wanted, right? They get the, the content that they would like to, to deliver. Even if you do live class, pun, kalau student nak record, kan? Kalau student nak record, kalau student nak screenshot your error, pun boleh juga. They can always do that. So don't don't overthink, right? On that part. Okay. If no question, I'll move on. Let's go to the first one. Um, this is one of the easiest tool to use. I'm sure you have heard of Prezi as a presentation tool, but they have introduced this uh, very simple to use. Um, how to put it? Very simple to use uh, video editor lah. Kalau yang tak pernah dengar Prezi, you can go to uh, open another tab and go to prezi.com slash video, right? Prezi.com slash video, right? And you will see this, this page. Kalau yang pernah dengar Prezi tu, mungkin you are so into the presentation format, macam PowerPoint format. But what happened now, Prezi video allows you to edit video, like now what you're seeing on the screen now, you can overlay with your slides, you can overlay with some uh, animation and all that to make your uh, video better. Sometimes you can, if you if you prefer using the normal, macam kita suka buat cara live class macam ni, you buka your webcam and then you cakap saja, macam like what you are seeing in the video now, then you might want to supplement with some like uh, overlay of PowerPoint, overlay of your uh, animation and all that. But that makes your video slightly more engaging. Uh, may not be like totally engaging, but slightly more engaging. But what matters is your keywords as well, right? Apa yang you letak di, di all this animation. So what you can do is you go to prezi.com slash video. You can get Prezi video for free. Uh, I'm going to try and pretend I'm logging in. So you can see like it's not totally free, but you can get the uh, free format first. In fact, the free one allows you to, how to put it, to use most of the basic features. Good enough, I think, for, for, for a start. If you're happy, then you can subscribe, but the free, the free version is good enough. Even though it says here 14 day free trial today, um, I have tried doing it during the 14 days and then you can still use the video, right? Or you can pay per, per download if you want to, meaning you pay for the videos. If you notice that the video is uh, of good quality, all right? So you can try. I'm not sure if you are doing it in front of you, but you can try login to prezi.com. Then login using your Gmail. Okay, so this is, I'm pretending this is fresh, fresh uh, sign up. If you want, you can go to prezi.com and then go in prezi video. Okay, so it, it's blank, right? Nothing here. Um, there are a few types. You can pre-record your video dalam phone ke, dalam, you know, using your laptop to or webcam to record or even using your camera to record. And then you upload it here or do the recording directly through this platform, which is also uh, easy actually. Like now, if I click, uh, if I click, click record, then it will ask me to allow camera. So, kalau saya benarkan camera saya digunakan sekarang, walaupun saya tengah guna untuk Webex, 
I'm, I, I hope no conflict. Let me see if there's any conflict. Okay. Prezi video is unable to access your camera because I'm using on Webex. So I'm going to turn off my video sekejap for Webex. Right. So if I refresh this, I'm, I'm using my camera to record. You can see me now. Right. So what happened is if I click next, these are the content that I can put in. Right. This is a sample, huh? sample of the video. So if I create your first video, you can see the things that I can put in. So what you can do is you pick the template that you want, right? Let's say I want this. Okay, next. Then I can add my text. Welcome to the first unit, for example. Uh, okay. So you can even change, you can add, uh, you know, some, some, whatever you want. You can even upload your file. Right, let's say I upload one here. So these are like some some content that you can put on your on your on your screen. Okay. And then next step. Once you're happy with whatever you have set up, just click the red button here. Three, two, one. Um, so you just pretend okay. Today we'll be learning about unit one. Welcome to unit one. And um, the focus of today is blah 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 blah. You can pause. Minum air, tarik nafas. Continue. Hello. <laughs> okay. Hello. Blah, 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 blah. Pause. And then once you're happy with everything, done recording. It's not published yet. You can play it. Just pretend. Okay. Today, we'll be learning about unit one. Welcome to unit one. And um, the focus of today is blah, 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 blah. blah. Okay, if you notice any problem with your, let's say you're you're too concerned about your grammatical mistakes, then you might want to revert and then we should, or you can trim. Let's say only certain part, then you can trim. Maybe I want to keep only this part because there's some mistakes in front, then I put done. So it will trim the video. So you can see I did this. If I were to do this, let's say unit by unit, chunk by chunk, I can finish many videos in one sitting. All you have to do is prepare your content, you know, whatever slides you have uh, ready, and then you start shooting. And one sitting like this, if you spend like one, two hours, you can produce a lot of videos, actually. Asalkan kita tahu apa yang nak di, uh, disampaikan dalam video. A lot of people, dia tak plan, you know, you don't plan. You have to plan first. Like, for this unit, I want to focus on these two, three, three elements only. Then you start finding the tool to shoot. Bukan cari tool dulu, tengok orang guna tool ni, kita pun guna juga. But once you see in front, you tak tahu apa nak start. So might as well plan dulu. Let's say that part in your unit one tu selalu ada uh, perkara penting yang selalu, you know, you tend to miss out. You might want to record that part. So this is, this is Prezi video. Let's say I'm going to save this. Just save this. Now, you nampak tak, you ada option kat sebelah tepi ni, public and reusable, means you are making it public to anyone. So I normally do not allow this. I would change it to unlisted. Sama dengan uh, YouTube. You put it as unlisted. Nobody can search your video. Only you knows it, you know, uh, and, and only no, only those who, um, how to put it, only those with the link can see it, right? So uh, put it unlisted. You can see they also allow you to share the Google Classroom if you're using Google Classroom or else you just do this. Let's say you don't like the Prezi platform. You don't want to share it using the Prezi platform, like the link here. You can always download this. Okay. You will click download, download the file, and then upload to your... Wait. Start your free talk. This is the free... Okay, I'm using the free version now. Okay, by the way, this is the free version before i forget this is the free version you can do as many times as you want but it's on the present platform if you want to download you can do for the trial right the 14 day trial i mentioned just now so you can download first in the advance and then you cancel the the subscription trial within the, the period lah, right but i'm not going to use it because i have a, another account that's an option for you all right this but if you think you want to stay use it forever you know just keep it here but all you have to do is just copy the link and then put it in your elip right just share the link in your elip okay let's say you don't like this you can delete it immediately or just click record again then you will go back to uh you know the the 
the Prezi part. Now, this is one frame, they call it. One frame means one look. Let's say you want another frame showing different look. Okay, you just add another frame. So another frame will allow you to 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 choose different different you know different how to put it different content to overlay. All right. So uh, so I have one scene. I can talk blah 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 blah, and then after I'm done with this, I can move on to the next one. And 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 all that lah. Okay. If you don't like the template, just now you have chosen this template. If you don't like it, then you can choose template. You can choose another one. All right or whatever template you like okay then add content same thing you can see the flow right and then add now if you like to use your slides then you can export your your slides in uh jpeg format and then you can do slide by slide if you want to meaning one one uh one frame one slide if you are using slides as your main uh, focus Normally, this type of video format it's not really good if you are slide, using slide by slide, but uh, good to highlight certain keywords. Let's say this video is about um, one topic, and that topic contains three main principles, for example. So you can go one frame for one principle. Then when you go for the second frame, you go for the second principle, something like that, right? So something for you to think about. So you can add as many frames as you like. You know, just imagine like this is a flow and add whatever you like here and then you can start recording you can practice it first if you're using Prezi video as your pr uh, presentation tool let's say you just see up guys uh, you already uploaded to elip but you would also want to recap in your zoom or in your microsoft teams or in your uh, webex session then you can even add presenters note to it for yourself right this is the 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 14 days uh, trial version, okay? Just to let you know, okay? Uh, the rest are quite clear. Let's say if you don't want to show your face, then you can just click this one. So that scene, that part will only record the slides or whatever you are showing. So dia tak akan keluar your muka and then your, your slides. So kalau nak tengok muka sahaja, then click this one, move, move. So as you are recording, let's say I try to click record now. As you are recording, you can actually move around like now i'm talking without my face after that my face and then back to the slides next to this to the next next uh, content and then back to my face again blah 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 you know so you can control as you are recording okay so very rapid production no editing needed you know no have fancy uh you know uh, editing needed just done recording and then save video Okay, or if you want, you can just play it. You can see here that now I'm talking without my face. To that, my face. Then back to the slides. Back to the to the next next content, and then back to my face again. Blah blah blah. You know. Okay, let me just stop this one. Okay. So this is Prezi video. Um, a lot of lecturers, yeah, uh, from some faculty, bila dia try Prezi video ni, dia nampak sangat itu. Other than the subscribe, uh, and the the subscribe version give you more template and all that. Uh, it's not that expensive yet so at the moment. So before it goes expensive, uh, you know, you might want to subscribe it first. All right, if you if you really like this, all right. Kalau tak, just use the free one first. It's the tool. Uh, the tools that we introduce usually is like this. Bila kita dah guna certain tools, and then kita rasa uh, serono guna uh, or we like it so much, uh, you might want to invest as well. Like uh, in my case, I invested a few uh, software on my own for certain tools that I use it a lot, like my channel screencast or Matic, like, uh, you know, all these tools that we normally hear people using. Because if you subscribe, then you get more features and then it saves a lot of time, right? And uh, you get you get to do many things. So, buy a sedikit untuk, untuk, you know, get the whole engagement done or whole uh, excitement uh, in, in producing your video. So, but kalau tak, nanti you, you get very frustrated because certain tools are not available for you, okay? Okay, any question about the Prezi video ni? Before I move on, let me, why is it not? Okay, because I... Practice. Okay, done recording. Oh, because I didn't finish record the whole thing. Never mind. I'm going to go for the front page. Leave. Any question about uh, Prezi video? You you can choose the templates and um, you can also see 
some of the videos given in uh, Prezi video you know database you can search you can even import your powerpoint so you can use your powerpoint as a basis and then you you overlay with your webcam that would be good enough right i mean in fact that's the easiest okay so ada yang guna some of you are using powerpoint uh, to record the video yang dalam powerpoint itself what i notice is bila you guna powerpoint kalau you tak adjust the uh, duration for each slide the the slide will move on very fast and then you belum habis cakap dia dah move right so so you might want to try Prezi. And then uh, Prezi video is also available on Windows. You can download it, grab Prezi video on desktop, meaning you don't have to use the web interface like, like what I'm doing now. You can download the, the app, sign in, and then do, do the recording, right? Boleh buat recording pada bila-bila masa, okay? Uh, the design and present now for you to design and present. This is a different feature actually, but you can try it out. This is design is for the uh, infographic. Macam yang infographics semua tu. And then present, of course, is the normal presentation that we normally get for Prezi yang the macam ballpoint tu. Okay. But the one that I'm focusing today is this one, uh, Prezi video. So kalau nak, if you explore video gallery ni, kalau you click kat sini, during the MCO itself, lockdown or across the globe, you will see a lot of teachers and even lecturers are using Prezi video. So you can search through, get some ideas, you know, see what are they doing elsewhere and then get some, get some ideas on how they organize the the video. The thing about video production ialah, macam my case juga, uh, I spend a lot of time going through videos on YouTube and all that and see how they chunk up certain things and how they how they organize certain video content. That helps me to kind of formulate the kind of video that I would like to produce. Kalau kita tak explore and see what people are doing and then we will not get the, the enough ideas to to produce. Asyik, asyik terfikir macam the conventional video yang canggih-canggih saja. Padahal dia orang guna basic macam basic video pun dapat uh, keluarkan video yang sangat menarik. So you can you can go go through a lot actually. Banyak. Just nanti you can search here uh, explore, right? So uh, this is one of the up and rising tools that people are using lah sebab dia cepat, right? Tak perlu editing yang terlalu canggih sangat, right? Uh, what matters is Dah siap planning apa content yang you nak, you nak put into the video format tu and then straight away uh, pergi ke Brazi and then do it, okay? Ada soalan tak? And then uh, one thing good about video which I didn't mention dalam uh, my earlier slide was uh, when you do video, you tend to be more aware, alert or self-reflect on your, on your uh, ability to deliver certain content because uh, we are so used to teaching dalam kelas kita macam actually dalam kelas kita lagi short sendiri sebenarnya so dalam kelas uh, we don't get the feedback directly uh, and student kadang-kadang because they they takut nak bagi feedback even though they know you are wrong they they tak berani nak cakap right tapi kalau you put on video your students are more open in a way dia akan dia akan contoh sir saya rasa slide ni salah contoh dia i i i normally notice this i mean based on what i observe not just through me but through other lectures as well and then uh, it, it makes you more conscious about what you have been talking you know for so long in your classes macam live classes or even dalam dalam face to face teaching you you are not aware tapi bila it's recorded you are aware like what uh, point malia said like all these grammatical mistakes or even you know, the way you pronounce certain words or uh, even your 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 content tu mungkin salah kan kita ajar benda salah tapi dalam class student kan dia they are just we are just getting our students and um, they don't dare to say that you're wrong right dalam class tu tapi kalau you put in a video format and then because it's it's rewatchable you get the feedback and to me as an educator we shouldn't be so negative about it in fact that's the way we improve and 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 it helps us to to think about better ways of delivering that part of the content right okay ada lagi tak before i move on this prezi video i think this is almost 10 okay ada lagi soalan tentang uh, prezi how many of you have tried it? Kalau ada. Prezi presentation, I know it's quite popular, but uh, they have moved up a bit by introducing this Prezi video. Ni paling senang lah. Kalau honestly, if you ask me, ada tak tu yang paling senang nak kalau nak record video directly, this is the best uh, so far. In a way of direct recording. Tan tanpa perlu, you know, uh, set up different uh, gadgets and all that. Okay. Ada lagi? This is, this is one. Okay, kalau tak ada, we move on to the next one. Oops. 
Oh, yang ni, um, yeah, Adobe uh, Sparks, something for you to think of, to consider as well. Not, not. By the way, all the tools that I'm, I'm going to introduce you today, I mean, or those that I have introduced, um, are not <laughs> like you have to use everything. Eh? Maknanya, you try dulu. Mana yang use lesser tu, you guna. Kalau yang rasa a bit complicated tu, tak payah guna lah. Okay. Adobe Spark, um, it's like Canva. Kalau you pernah dengar canva.com. Cuma, it's under Adobe. Um, if you are using your Unimas email, you can try login using your Unimas email later. Uh, tengok whether we are, whether you are subscribed to the uh, package offered by KPM. If you are, if you are think, not allowed to use certain paid features, then meaning you are not enrolled under KPM. Lah. Sebab KPM, Ministry of Education, uh, subscribe to this Adobe Creative Suite. And one of the packages is Adobe Spark. You can use the premium punya template. They're free sebenarnya. Cuma kalau you sign up using the premium, you get to use more template. Tu je lah, right? So you can go to spark.adobe.com. You can, if you want to sign in, you can sign in. Kalau yang tak nak sign in tu, for now, you can just take a look. Oh, I, I, I'm going to use the, this one. School account. Okay. You, this one is also downloadable. It also available in mobile format. Kalau pergi ke App Store ataupun Play Store, you can search Spark. It's also available for free. Okay, so the moment you masuk ke dalam Adobe Spark, ni yang akan nampak, dia ada Instagram story, Instagram post, blah, 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 blah. So a lot of people are using uh, Adobe Spark to create social marketing content. Uh, kalau yang nak promote ba barang semua tu, alright, product and all the end services, normally they will use this one or Canva. None of famous ones is Canva. Dia direct competitor dia ialah Canva lah, Canva.com. Dia boleh buat Instagram story, Instagram post, Facebook post, photo collage. So, yang you selalu nampak on the uh, the one that you normally see on social media, people using all these animated uh, promo of items is most likely using these kind of tools. But we are not using it for uh, all these purposes. You can use it for presentation or slideshow. So, I'm going to go for slideshow because they have the video format. So, just put in your title. You need one video, for example. Then you can choose the template available, right? Kalau you tak nak choose the template given, then you can start from scratch. Meaning, you know, start from kosong lah. You add the background sendiri. So, untuk I want to use teach a lesson. So, dia akan keluarkan the, uh, apa ni? Template for teach a lesson. The online version, like what you're seeing now, uh, usually will take some time to load. Because uh, it tries to download all the apa ni? all the templates given. But if you downloaded the Adobe Spark on your uh, desktop, you can directly work on it without without having the internet connection. But having the internet connection will allow you to download the templates and also the whatever you know animation effects or content that they they updated. Okay, you can see how long it takes. <laughs> this is for you to create, huh? see okay so you'll see this loaded all right what i kind of liked about the uh kind of like about adobe spark is that it kind of give this instructional guideline for you so if you say teach a lesson then dia akan bagi tahu slide ni sepatutnya you bagi overview slide ni you bagi tahu concept yang you nak ajar slide ni example then your explanation based on the example and then you try it means you ask the student to try it, you summarize it, and then you credit and that's it. So dia macam ada structure for you to think about what to what to say or what to put in your in your slides or in your video. Okay. So overview. So you can add if you dah record video, you just have to click video and upload your video. Kalau tak ada video, you can start from let's say this video is a bit too long. So I can just trim and then I click save. This is one way to produce a uh, video. 
Nampak tak yang ni dia lebih ke arah you dah record and then you you want to produce. You can also do live uh, recording. Cuma dia tak se se friendly uh, apa ni? Prezi tadi. You can directly do it. Alright. Okay, I have my video done. And then you can see like there's a microphone button in the middle. Means this is where you you talk. Alright. So let's say I'm going to try to record this. So you have to allow your microphone. Dia macam uh, apa ni? Uh, WhatsApp and also your your tools. You have to press to talk. So just a cup. So welcome to unit three. Today we will be learning about A, B, and C. So done. So contoh kalau play. So welcome to unit three. Today we will be learning about A, B, and C. So kalau yang jenis malu nak tunjuk muka. You can always show slides and then do the voiceover directly here. And then you can see like it comes with the background music because you can choose the music here. Kalau you click music ni, you pilih pilih music yang you suka, right? If you want the background music. And then you can even lower down the volume. Kalau you perlukan music, kalau tak, then remove the music. You can even upload your own music kalau nak, okay? Cuma music, if you are uploading it to YouTube, uh, try not to upload the copyrighted music, like all this, uh, you know, uh, pop music and all that. Some, some lectures try to probably, you know, try to create the atmosphere. Ada yang upload ke pop music, tapi video dia kena ban sebab uh, copyrighted material. So, make use of the free, royalty-free punya music lah, okay? Okay, let are done. So, you can even type text. You can press tengah ni. Contoh, video ni dah ada, tapi you nak letak text atas tu. Very simple to use. Just click text. Unit 1, A, B, C. So, contoh kalau I play it again. So, welcome to Unit 3. Today we will be... Eh, hey, Unit 3, uh, Unit 1. A, okay. C. Contoh. Okay. So, 1, 1 part done. So, the 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 thing about Adobe Sparks is it guides you uh, what to say, you know, in, in every part. So, let's say now concept. So, you pergi ke... Number two, macam kita buat dalam PowerPoint slide, cuma kita buat dalam bentuk video. Okay, then I can upload maybe, uh, if I don't want to upload text, I can upload the, the apa ni, the photo. Imagine kalau yang ni foto saya lah kan. Imagine this is my slides, right? Okay. If you notice, even the button here, because just now I, 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 created, sorry, I selected the um, teacher lesson template. You will notice that even the instructional guideline here is telling you like describe the concept you're teaching, you know, give an example the audience can relate to. They are the guidelines. Okay. So bagi yang not familiar or, you know, on, on about producing video and don't know what to say, Adobe Spark is one good alternative for you to try. Okay. So now I can add my tags. You can add as many tags as you want, actually, but I'm going to try this one. So let's say um, concept one. You can kecikkan kalau nak. Okay. Ni satu. You can even move, right? Okay. Ni contohlah. Then, kalau you nak split screen pun boleh. Ni banyak, banyak format pula lah. Okay, split screen concept one. You boleh pilih, alright? Kalau you nak full screen version, dia macam ni. Kalau nak caption, dia kat bawah. Okay? So, these are the few options that you can choose. They, they normally, um, normally this kind of tool, they will keep on adding. Like before this, when I started using Adobe Spark, uh, only two options. Now, they have two, two more, alright? Okay. So, uh, as usual, so now it's side two. So, you can just press the microphone and start talking. So for concept one, this is what we'll be learning today. Okay, one, blah, 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 done. And then if you play it. Okay, so if we play from the beginning. So welcome to okay, unit sorry. three. Today we will be learning about. Sorry, if you play from this one, this is the beginning. Huh? So welcome to unit three. Today we will be learning about A, B, C. So for concept one, this is what we'll be learning today. So you see, if you have your structure done, you can easily produce one video now, right? 
like I told you, when I had the uh, workshop with the Majlis Islam educators, all these uh, pensioners, they they can produce a lot of video in one sitting because they know what they are. They come, they come, they come prepared with the, of course, whatever they want to uh, produce in the video format lah. But uh, once you get the hang of it, in one sitting you can create a few types of video in a very short time. So no issue about time consuming. In fact, it's more time consuming to to do the live class now because you have to spend like one to three hours, kan? Pergi kena tunggu pukul lapan start sampai lah pukul sebelas contohnya. But you can cut short your live class and then do more videos and then you know upload it to uh, Elip. And it's the good thing is it supports both sides. You can do both synchronous. You can use the video for synchronous playing. You can even do it for asynchronous uh, usage on your Elip. So it, it goes both way depending on how you want to use it. Okay. Any other? Any other question? Okay, let's say done, right? Okay, done. You can download it. Right. Close this window will cancel the download. So you can have to wait, you see here, the bar here. Okay, they will try to upload. Now, the good thing about Adobe Spark also, uh, this Adobe team, they kind of guide you as well, all right? So sometimes occasionally you will see them guiding you, like what else should you do? Maybe you overlook certain things, right? You might want to add this, might want that. They will, they will try to guide you, right? Okay, let's say I cancel this lah, because it's, I'm not going to download this. So you download, then you can upload to your YouTube uh, channel or YouTube account. And then if you don't want to download, you want to directly share, you can publish it to Adobe Spark uh, database. Just like Prezi just now. Most video editing uh, platform now produce a platform, allows a platform for you to share directly without involving third party uh, uh, platform like YouTube and all that. So they allow you to publish directly like Prezi, publish uh, directly in Prezi. And then kalau Adobe Spark, publish directly in Adobe Spark, something like that. So if you don't want that, then you can download. For my case, because I usually release it, you know, uh, one by one. So what I can do, what you can do, like what I did was download dulu semua, dah siap download. Let's say you spend one Saturday to produce a few videos. Janganlah share semua sekaligus, right? So you share when you need to, right? So you don't have to one whole go upload semua. Okay, download dulu and then share. So you, if you don't like the theme, you can choose the theme. Okay, these are some of the themes that you can choose. Once you're happy, you just double click it. It will change, but not many at the moment, right? Not many, but good enough for you to, to achieve certain things. But what I like is the middle one, yang, yang, yang tengah ni. So you have, so about, normally if you are using other tools, you don't, you're not aware of what you're saying, you know, whether it's being recorded uh, or not. So if you have like this, you are conscious because you're pressing the, the recording. So, you know, you can, uh, you can record as you go lah, you know, uh, one by one. Okay. Okay. Once this size, you can have what screen? Kalau yang social media, if you want to, you want to share on social media, you will change to square. But white screen phone, okay, no harm. For YouTube, it's white screen. If you want to share, reproduce certain things on uh, social media, then you can use square. Okay. This is done. Any question about Adobe Spark? You can try login. I'm not sure whether you're subscribed, but in my case, I'm subscribed. Uh, somehow my email is activated for this. If you want it to be activated, I think you can contact CITDS, I think. They are the person in charge, not come. Uh, Adobe packages is under CITDS. So you can just write to them saying that you want to be added to the Adobe Creative Suite package. I'm not sure whether you are automatically enrolled, but in my case, uh, yes. Can try later huh? meaning you log in using your you, you when you activate you try to log in using your email's identity okay uh email and also the password or else you can use the um mobile version right mobile version uh the app format but i personally like the desktop version because more you know more into uh more content for you to look at Any question? No? <laughs> you guys are very quiet. So um, you can type if you want to. Okay. All right. That's Adobe Spark. Just now is Prezi. After that is a Spark, Adobe Spark. These two are highly recommended for those who are saying that tak tahu nak create tu. Yang tadi jawab, I don't know how to create tu. Yang tu. This is the part for you to start, right? Try dulu. And then... Um, if you have questions, you can tell ask me, of course, how to how to proceed. 
Ya macam Prezi nanti Kalau you dah try And then you do not know How to proceed Contoh dia kata Kena bayar ke You let me know I will, I will guide you On on that I cannot I cannot do it now Alright Okay Any other question Kalau tak I won't bond to the other one This one is for I'm, I'm go for this scripting dulu Yang um, A lot of you do not Are not aware This one on it Microsoft whiteboard um, used to be paid version, right? Used to be paid version, meaning it doesn't come for free. Now it's free. Um, the same with a lot of tools now. After Microsoft acquired it, it makes it uh, you know available for free. They make it available for free. Now what happened is Microsoft whiteboard, I'm going to show you. If you don't have it, you can just download it for Windows. You might want to search in your desktop and see whether it's available. Like now, I, I can start a new one. For those of you who love to scribble, you know, like uh, if you're teaching certain concept, because video, you don't have to use the same format all the time. You can change format. Like this unit, I want to use this. Okay, that part, I want to use this one. So you, you have a variety of video, right? So Yangni, this is Microsoft whiteboarding. Uh, what you need to do is to use a screen recorder. Uh, macam apa ni? Uh, screen, screen Cosmetic, which I will show you later. Or even... Uh, screenrecord.com to record whatever you're doing now and then put it into in the form of video okay so let's say i'm gonna well i'm gonna teach some concept so i can put a sticky note here type dulu siap siap today uh, we'll be learning about abc blah 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 okay you can you can use a sticky note to kind of like do a rough outline of whatever you want to do okay so this one is Concept one. So once you are ready, then you use the screencast automatic or screencast record to record whatever you're doing now. You can even put it in full screen to make sure that you know you are fully concentrate on this particular uh, interface. The good thing is you don't have to show your face for this one. Tak ada webcam, no webcam needed. Meaning it's voiceover and you doing the scribbling. So you can uh, choose the color or pen or whatever you want and then start uh scribbling let's say i'm gonna pick this one Oops, sorry okay i'm gonna enlarge okay so i'm gonna use because i have my tool ready so i can just quickly do this so a b c and then I can say, you know, whatever I want here. Contoh yang ni, uh, good, blah, 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 you know. It's like you can do your explanation using this kind of uh, method, right? Maybe I can choose a different color. Okay. Then you can also, I terpilih yang ni kot. Wait, why is it turning to this one? Wait, ah. Uh. Okay. Because I'm using the active pen, so let me just use the mouse easier. Okay. Now, this is the mouse one. So, you can just circle this one. All right. And then just explain more so meaning you can you can do the you know the typical writing type of explanation so this is one uh, good alternative if you have the tablet or pen that will be easier but good enough for you to record like let's say uh, i normally use this type for uh, explanation of common errors if you have your students work right and then you see a lot of students are repeating the same mistakes if you just scribble on their work they normally you will not share it out right and um you get very frustrated because everyone is committing the same mistake. So you might want to screenshot that particular part. Of course, you can ask them uh, permission if you want to. Uh, but students are students don't mind actually because they're using that uh, as a as a as an example. But you don't have to mention the name, right? Just not to shame them. So for example, so just screenshot that paragraph, or put it up here, and then you can use the pen to explain as you you know as you uh, 
explain the error, you know, why are you doing this? You know, this is not, should not be there and all that. So, so that kind of video would also help the students to learn. So this salah satu lagi contoh lah, video yang kita boleh buat. So let's say, um, if you don't want to use the pen now, so um, I upload, let's say, uh, you know, from image, library image. So I can just upload, imagine, uh, well, I don't have a text. Now imagine this is a text, right? So for example, I screenshot this text, right? Just imagine lah, huh? okay. <laughs> Then I turn on the pen tip, so I can just saying that, you know, this is wrong, you know, or this is blah, 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 or you highlight certain parts. So this, this is a good way to explain certain common errors, you know, and other types of video that you can produce. And this type of video, you don't have to make it public, lah, you know, just put it unlisted in your YouTube channel and share it with your, uh, with your students. And then they will really appreciate it because, you know, they learn from, from the whole process, okay? uh yeah this is one but if you don't like this microsoft uh, whiteboard another common one that i normally encourage that i share a lot is open board let me just put it here open board dot ch it's also in the list just now this one open board this is also quite popular okay you just download you don't have, you don't need the pen if you don't have one. Just use the mouse. It's good enough for a short explanation. And you just download. Just download for free. Okay. So, uh, and then, uh, maybe I just, I think I downloaded, but I uninstalled. Okay, anyway. Um, I don't really use this after I discovered Microsoft, uh, when Microsoft Whiteboard becomes uh, free, right? So, I, I don't really use it. But, open board. The good thing is you can directly um, record. I think I shared this many times already in a, lot of, in a lot of workshop, but if you miss it, I'm going to install now for you and let you take a look what I meant. Because I thought of just mentioning this, but uh, <coughs> you may want to try this. But yang ni, tak perlu nak guna screencast to record. Di dalam tu dah ada recording tools. So Microsoft Whiteboard, they're just whiteboarding, but you need another tool to record it. For what open board ni, kalau you dah download. Alright, sorry, a lot of email coming in. Blah. Okay, kalau open board, this is open board. What happened is, if you go to setting button kat tepi ni, dia ada podcast. Nama dia podcast, tapi sebenarnya dia record the whole video. Okay, it records the whole video. This is This is one of... Uh, the common tool that they use also. So let's say I don't like the white background. I want it to be black, darker. And then I want my pen to be, uh, let's say, yellow. So I can have grid if I want to, or lines, but I want it to be plain black now, for example. And you can start doing your teaching. But before that, click the record button. Eh? So whatever you say, whatever you write now, uh, it will... Oops, sorry, I the tekan yang ini. So whatever one, I use the mouse with one plus one equals two, blah, 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 blah. And then you say whatever you like, contoh. Or you can even say the word like, you know, good, blah, 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 and then stop. Now, the moment I click stop here, right? The moment I click stop here, if I go to desktop, if I go to my desktop, I will be able to see the, the video recorded immediately. So you see, it's the same concept just now, like Microsoft, uh, apa ni? Microsoft uh, whiteboard, but it goes straight to a video format. For Microsoft whiteboard, you need another tool to record it. For this one, the moment you click record, everything is recorded. So uh, if you if you put some content here, let's say one slide, and then you want to do the explanation, or one screenshot, and you want to do the explanation, this is also a good alternative, and it's free totally free open board is also totally free and um 
Uh, the good thing I like about this open board punya format ialah dia tak perlu ada software lain untuk record dia. Dia dalam tu memang dah ada recording. So let's say you click record again now it will record blah 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 and then you stop. So whatever you say, whatever you show on your open board will be recorded as a video. Okay. If you notice it's similar to Salman Han punya ni, uh, Han Academy is a video. So they initially when Salman Han started recording her, his lectures are uh, all using open board before dia tukar ke software uh, yang datang sekali dengan dia punya tablet tu lah. But this is essentially one of the easiest and cheapest solution for for this type of video. So once in a while you might want to have this type of video untuk usually for explaining um, errors, mistakes, common common issues that you can highlight using scribbling format. Uh, and uh, you know you can slate slate lah you know. Uh, minggu ni ada video satu tu this format, uh, video ni pula, video format lain. So you have a, a variety of videos, not only the same type throughout your uh, semester, okay? So you can start thinking already, like what kind of video can I produce based on this kind of uh, format, okay? Or uh, tools lah, okay? Uh, where do I go? Okay, escape. Okay. Okay, let me go back to this open board. So we have two types, Microsoft Whiteboard and then Open Board. But to record Microsoft Whiteboard, you need another tool called like Screencast Formatic. Screencast Formatic also is quite popular. All the videos that I created you uh, on the uh, apa ni? on my YouTube channel, the type yang ada my webcam as an instructional are recorded using Screencast Formatic. It's, it's free, right? Cuma it comes with certain limitation if it's free. Uh, I, I can't remember that. Let me see. What is the limitation again? Um, I think they limit the time because I, I paid for this. So for my own subscription for, for, for a year. But it's a very powerful, simple to use. So if I were to show the one I have on my, on my PC, dia macam ni. Screencast automatic ni. Dia macam dia record apa yang kita tunjuk di screen kita. So what we whatever we show on the screen, it will be recorded. So right now, if I want to, let's say I want to do a tutorial on how to use certain software. Yang mengajar uh, subject ataupun topik yang ada software tertentu, right? And you couldn't find it online or you want to have your own personal touch in explaining certain certain usage. So you can use screencast automatic Download it and then when you click record, it will ask you you not record screen, webcam, ataupun both. Right now, my webcam is not functioning because I'm using it in Webex. If I were to disable my Webex punya video now, and I relaunch this, cancel this, good job. Oops, sorry. You will see like this. Ni both. So I will record, I can record the screen and also my face. And then webcam only, dia akan di tengah ataupun screen sahaja. You can choose what you want to record, right? So let's say I want to record both. And then you can pick the size. Usually full screen, that's the best because you don't have to worry about, you know, tak nampak certain part. Just go for full screen. And then narration, make sure you choose the microphone, right? And then you have the computer audio. If you want to play certain audio, then yes, normally no. If yes means all the audio coming from the uh, coming from your uh, computer will be recorded, all right? Okay, then if I start recording now, three, two, one. All right, ladies and gentlemen, now I'm going to teach you how to use screencast or matic. This is how we use screencast or matic. Just go to screencastomatic.com. Go and launch free recorder. Blah blah blah. Okay, let's say done. If I click pause. There's a pause button. So if you want to rewatch it first and then, you know, uh, reshoot, you can. If you are not happy with this recording, let's say I'm not happy with this recording, I can delete everything and start over. <coughs> okay, let's say I'm happy. I click done. And then I click edit video. <coughs> Sorry. Uh, this is the beauty of screencast automatic because you can edit the video as well. So you can see here, let me just enlarge this a bit. So, kalau I play, 
So this is if you if you if you watch my videos, most of my videos are this format, uh, tutorial, and then my face here. So let's say I I want to show I don't want to show my webcam now. Let's say I decided after I tengok I tak suka my face, so I move remove my webcam. Can just now I record other webcam now I don't have my webcam. Okay, or I don't want the cursor to be shown. But if you're showing tutorial based kind of video, to, cursor is is important because they. It shows the audience what to focus, right? Let's say I, jama, I don't know the low money and the cursor. Gentlemen, now I'm going to teach you how to use the cursor like this. Jama, okay, you can see the cursor is highlighted like this. So kalau you buang, it's gone. Then the user will not know where you click, right? So this is pretty important. Okay, let's say you recorded everything and then you are not happy with the narration here. You can see narration here. You can narrate separately. And then import the wave file. Contoh, you dah siap, you tak puas hati. Mungkin ada tersalah cakap something. Uh, the grammatical uh, mistake or your pronunciation or whatever. So just import. And then it will overlay on top of whatever you have recorded. So tak bazi masa. You don't have to waste your time. Record it again. Right? And then another powerful that I like so much about screencast automatic is this intelligent captioning uh, software. So you can click here, caption, speech to text, and then start. Sorry, I have to start from here. You can see it transcribe automatically for you now. All right, ladies and gentlemen, blah, blah, blah. If I, if I press. All right, ladies and gentlemen, now I'm going to teach you how to use screen cards of my Can notice it's pretty accurate. All right, if I go on. Lunch only lah. This one because pronunciation maybe. So you can edit it. All right. Okay. So imagine if you have your long video, it auto transcribe for you the captioning. Then you can add it in your subtitle. So that the issue. Student can actually, you know, they can actually mute you for a while and focus on the text. Sometimes they are in a very crowded place, they can't hear you. So they will they will just read your your caption down there or the subtitle okay so it's pretty pretty important and the good thing is right, sorry this this caption text you can actually export as a text file ah this is the beauty of it usually we go for srt these sub -rip caption files and then you can use the sub -rip file duplicate it and turn it into a malay format so so to i had a i dah ada contoh i export lah let's say i ada ada yang english ni i have the english version already so if I go to my ni, English, you have to open it using uh, Notepad. Cannot, I just use this one. Use Notepad to open. Kalau tak ada Notepad tu, just buka. So what happened is like this. Yang ni dalam bahasa Inggeris kan? So kalau you nak buat translation, you just have to change this. Right? Baiklah, tuan-tuan. Dan puan puan, blah 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 blah. Okay, contoh. Then you can save this as Malay. So when you upload to YouTube, your YouTube video has two subtitles: English and Malay, right? So uh, you get to have both. Ni, this is the beauty of it lah. Kalau tak, kalau you do your normal transcribing one by one, you memang you will feel very tired, right? And because there's so many things to transcribe, but this one is done. It's quite intelligent actually for the English one. Malay text, I tried a few. Some of the words are okay, some are not, but you can try because they use the Google Translator engine anyway. So it's quite accurate for certain pronunciation. I mean, when you pronounce a Malay word, uh, kan Malay dia bunyi dia lain sikit. So when they when they transcribe, it's, it's still okay, all right? So you can try. Once I have the caption I want or I don't want, then done. Let's say I want it. Oops, sorry. Done. Just save the video file. Then your video is done in less than how many minutes? I don't know. Okay, so you publish and then you upload it to the uh, YouTube channel. So one video can, if you know what you're saying, if it's a three or five minutes video, you should not take you more than one hour, right, to do this. So if you don't have screencast automatic, you might want to explore. It's very very uh, easy to use. Scripted. If you have the scripted format. Um, screencast automatic also comes with the script format where you can plan 
So you boleh buat the script, right? And then you know write the write the script nicely, and then record one by one, record the script one by one, uh, using your voice of course. Then just overlay it on top of any video. Right? This is this is a tool for you to use like macam voiceover lah. Kalau yang nak guna voiceover, okay? Uh, if for example you are a bit too worried that you may say the wrong thing, so what you can do is bila you screen casomatic tu, you just you just talk normally dulu, just say as usual, you know, just record everything with a slight transition everything. Then when you edit your video, you mute the original audio, you upload another audio based on the script. So that overlays on top, okay. So you don't have to be too concerned about what you say in the original video. Tu cuma tak berapa natural lah sikit, okay? Because it's scripted. Tapi certain part maybe you want to be scripted, you can do the scripted format, okay? So you can go and download screencast uh, automatic. It's not really expensive kalau nak bayar by the way. <laughs> uh, you can you can subscribe atau pun share share. The good thing about screencast automatic is uh, one account can can be on multiple devices. So like my case. I have one, but I can share with with uh, different different you know different PC, different laptop. So you don't they become like locked to one device. So that's the beauty of it. So let's say you cannot afford to purchase it on your own. You might want to have like three or four, three or four friends, you know, buy yeah, and then get one and sign up for one generic account. Yang semua boleh masuk and download. Okay, that's another alternative lah. Okay, um, I'm not sure if Cam is acquiring this, but I have told uh Dr. Terry about this. Maybe they are considering whether to subscribe. Uh, fully, but this is one of the easiest tool to use. Another one is screen rack, uh, screen record actually screen, but it calls screen rack. This one screen rack dot com. Screen rack r a e c record dot com. Right, same concept with screen cosmetic, but it comes with only the screen you know recording with a webcam in a circular format like Loom. Right, if you have heard of Loom. Same concept, but uh, screenrack.com is still free at the moment. Masih lagi free. This is another alternative lah kalau nak. Okay, I'm not going to go into detail step by step. So, but I think because like macam online platform like this, you you don't have a chance to really explore semua. So, might as well you pay attention to the two yang you suka and then nanti you explore. Okay, I mean you you try to use it. Kalau ada apa-apa, can still get back to me. Okay. All right. So, ada soalan tak tentang screen recording ni? Um, I'm sure some of you have done it. I've seen some of you shared. Um, good, very good. Um, and um, having the overlay of uh, PowerPoint slides or uh, material actually helps you to be more, <coughs> how to put it, tak rasa nervous sangat, right? Kalau if it's talking head, your face only, you tend to be very conscious and then you tend to be very nervous okay? or too scripted sometimes. <coughs> okay. I'm done with the two, I think three types already. Uh, we have the normal talking head type, you know, uh, the slides and board types, the board type, and then you have the screaming type. Um, those animation one, because some of you asked for this one, but you can you can go to this animis. Let me just close some, some video. Animis, all right? I'm not sure you have heard of this. When it comes to animation, um, the popular ones are Powtoon, uh, Doodly, Animaker, and all this. Sadly, though, all this Powtoon and everything has become so commercial, and there that tak ada yang free version dah. Everything is fully paid. Even the how to put it, even Powtoon pun the the free one only give you one minute, and then it's uh, like very short. So far, Animes is still free. I'm not sure how long. I mean, the free version is available. Memang ada paid version, but the free version is still available for you to use. I'm not sure how long, but try to use it. The good thing is, kalau Powtoon um, and Doodly and all this, you have to be online all the time. Maksud dia, you can avoid editing online and all that. Macam Powtoon, I know some of you have used it. The loading of it online will take a lot of time and it consume a lot of bandwidth. So you might you might feel like macam susah nak buat the Powtoon. So what happened is anim uh, enemies, this one, enemies, 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 you can download it, right? Download and install in your PC and then run it through your PC. Let me close this one. It will become like this, this one, Anima enemies, animation maker. If you have this one, it's a downloaded version and it's still free. You can see the moment I open, you can see so many templates available. 
you can use all except the one marked with VIP. You can see some here, VIP, VIP. Right? I think the free one is good enough for a lot of a lot of <laughs> uh, usage. <clears throat> if you want to use the template. If you don't want to use the template, you can actually start from scratch. Right? Meaning you can you can actually do it uh, on your own, you know, from from, from zero. Lah. Okay. Uh, sign in dulu using your email, right? I remember where I sign up. Oop. Let me see if I registered correctly. Tapi tak sign in pun tak apa sebenarnya. Cuma sign in will allow you to sync with the tu lah, dia punya account. Okay. Now, choose one template. Um, If you want to start from from a, a guided tour kind of thing. So you just go for, let's say, I go for education category lah. I go for education category. Let's see your teaching resume. Uh, this one, when you first time use it, it will download, try to download. Let's say your teaching resume and you want to tell your students um, how, you know, certain CV or certain resume is not, you know, good enough and all that. So you can, I just play it first, see how it looks like. Raw, right, raw. So you can see like, it's like a explainer kind of video. <coughs> Oh, done. Okay. Okay. Oh, yeah. This is one scene. Okay. And then you can go to the second one. Okay. So this is first scene just now. Let's say you, let's say you want to teach about resume. So the first scene just now can, can be like a teaser to start. Okay. Today, we'll be learning about how to, you know, write or produce better resume. Blah, blah, blah. You can, you can do your narration. All right. And then next one is to move to the content already. So what are the things that you put in your resume? Basic info, blah, 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 blah. So everything is, is like pre, predefined lah in this case. Okay. And then uh, you can start one by one now. So basic info. What do you put in your basic info? Blah, 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 blah. Okay. So this is like an animated kind of video where everything is chunked for you. It, it helps you to frame the kind of idea that you want to put in your video. And you can you can do the editing lah, right? So um, let's say I go back to this scene now. If you want to put default camera, and then you can view camera. <clears throat> Not sure if the video is working because I'm using yeah. Doesn't seem to recognize my camera. Oh, because I'm using it for multiple, multiple devices. Now I think it got a bit confused. Let me disable this screencast or Matic. What else? Okay. Hmm. Doesn't detect my uh camera. Anyway, you can also overlay with your camera if you want to. If you don't want, then it will be the normal animation lah. Because if you overlay with the camera, then it becomes like a normal talking head again. Okay. So <clears throat> let me check this one. Because doesn't seem to detect my my camera. But anyhow, let's say you have your this one. You can just double click on it. So you can just change this. Like let's say EOP unit one. You know. Contoh lah. Where is the okay right. Then you can see every time you click something here on your right, you can add more things like context. You can even add Chinese words, so whatever word you want. And then if you want, you can add text here. Uh, let's say introduction to resume. Okay, just put it here. So you can add text, overlay, and then every time you add something, it will add a layer down there in the timeline. Let me just enlarge this a bit. So dia macam you time 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 it right you you put where you want it to be shown. So contoh kalau nampak introduction to resume ni macam terlalu cepat so you might want to drag it a bit to sekali masuk dengan yang yang lain. So contoh like this. So all oh, lambat sikit. So the timeline actually guides you what to show. All right? This is this is 
for those yang nak gunakan animation lah. Okay. Not many people like this. I mean, like like this kind of animation, but it's good like a like a teaser or a summary of important things, right? Okay, what to have in a resume kind of thing, and then you can use your voiceover, add your voice inside. So there are many things you can add. You can add. Uh, this is role, um, like an avatar, right? Let's say you are this avatar, and then every avatar comes with an animated feature so you can you can decide what kind of avatar you want let's say this is this is me all right if i add my avatar nanti cakap in smile it will like this okay kalau you nak dia lanjang sikit you can drag okay right so if you don't like this pergi balik ke avatar ni choose a different one lah then you can choose different motion you know emotion uh let's say tak suka tak puas hati <laughs> let's say i change this one I delete this one okay so you see every time you add something here the timeline will add one here male teacher okay if i if i play this kalau nak panjang sikit you just drag the diamond ni oops okay make it longer contoh Hmm. <laughs> okay, so I mean you can play around with this. This I'm sure a lot of you will like this, uh, especially those yang tak tak suka tunjuk your face. I mean you don't like to show your face. You might want to have an avatar, right? As a one one mean one way to to kind of uh, cover yourself, right? Um, there are also animation widget available. These are all available for free. Let's say you want some effect like uh like cartoon effect. When it's too short, then it will it will tell you that you need to drag your time. So I just purposely put like this. Okay, I mean this is an experiment anyway. So you have extra effect. All these are all free at the moment for enemies. Okay, then you can add uh what else effect banyak ni. Yang ni a bit complete. Nampak macam complete sedikit lah. Ni untuk mereka yang adventurous nak gunakan uh, animation sedikit nak buat macam uh, video untuk dialog sedikit. You see, you can even have dialog. Yeah, now what scenario? Uh, you know, you can arrange this. Now, if you if you want to lock canvas, you can lock it, or you can see the button here. You can lock individual individual uh, line here. Then the rest will not move, right? This one only will move. Okay, because you lock everything together. But this one is the call out box, for example. Okay, then you can add text on top of this thing. There are many things you can add bar chart, uh, you know, all the shapes, uh, video, audio, and all this. So this is for those who like to 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 be more adventurous doing animation. Dan yang you selalu nampak di TV tu lah, you know, all this. This normally are done using free tool like this. Uh, it's not not really complicated. Uh, in terms of audio punya editing lah. Contoh ni satu lagi. So skills, what do you put in skills? These are the things that you put. Blah 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 blah. Okay. So if you want to add your voiceover, all you have to do is just add the audio, meaning you record and then upload the audio, so it will be played together with the animation. Um, like this one. Click click uh record. Then you can start talking. So blah blah. Okay, calm down dulu. I selalu lupa calm down. Right, so in this part, we talk about skills. What do you have in skills? Uh, you have to put in specific knowledge, then the skills, computer skills, blah, blah, blah. Okay, for example, so I play. Eh, I didn't save. Oh, dia tengah, dia tengah ni. Strange, wait, let me... Where is my audio? <laughs> Wait, let me try and record this. All right, so what do blah 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 blah? Okay. I think it's processing. Okay, I'm I'm being a bit too too impatient. 
uh, once you record, then it will appear, you know, uh, down here with the audio. So if you're not happy, delete, record again, and then it will overlay on top of your whatever animation you have. But usually animation, you don't have to have, you don't need to have um, voiceover if you don't want to. But if you want, then you can do the voiceover, okay? Oh yeah, because I silenced it, sorry. Okay, now it makes sense. Doesn't seem to. Anyway, try this for those who of you who like to use um, animation. Okay, so if you go back to home, if you don't want to save this, no, then you can choose other animation uh, format. Like this one, School Life is like a scenario based, different characters talking about different things. So it's still free at the moment. I'm not sure how long, but uh, while it's free, do the video and then download it and save it and then upload it to your. Uh, YouTube video, uh, sorry, YouTube channel, okay? All right. Any questions so far? I think I'm done. Uh, just that I would like to share a bit on how to integrate all this on my slides. Let me go for this one. Just a quick one before we end. So I, I've shown you some tools to produce PESI video and all that. Kalau yang terlepas tu, you can go back to the link yang I bagi tadi tu. Yang this link. Mana uh, this one, Bitly, FLC, BL. Dalam tu ada the list of tools that I have been used. Uh, but I just want to quickly go through a bit on this one. Yeah. Key tips. Focus on key topics. Tak perlu semua. Meaning, kan you akan buat live class juga. Some of you prefer live class. So instead of doing for three hours, you spend the uh, live class hours to focus more on the engagement with the students. Buat activities, you know, buat macam, you know, live uh, kind of uh, sharing and all that instead of uh, buka live class tapi go slide by slide one by one one by one one by one all right so the video can overtake that role meaning um, the videos that you produce can actually play the role of drilling on the topics and then be you try not to be too scripted actually um, honestly my my observation my analysis of all the videos that that I, I even I produce I show I, I noticed that those that are scripted one are not really you know they don't really like it but they they want you to be natural all right and then uh, use visual more jangan buat video tapi you know like i show you just now ada yang text saja yang macam nilah contoh um you know like this one still okay ada yang only text text saja so macam tak ada purpose pula you buat the video all right so focus more on visuals highlight the keywords and make use of subtitle this is crucial uh, terutama kepada pelajar kita yang agak lemah so they may not be able to capture whatever you say um, so you might want to have the subtitles subtitle tak perlulah macam word per word transcription because you're not doing linguistic analysis you just uh, put the subtitle for key things that you say right so that will be sufficient because kalau you nak transcribe satu-satu ke kecuali kalau you guna skin cosmetic tadi lah everything will be transcribed uh, kalau you rasa malas sangat nak transcribe satu-satu, you focus on the keywords. Like sometimes you bagi keyword in English, bawah tu you can actually have a subtitle in Malay of the keywords, right? So integration with Elip, how do you integrate this? Uh, insert the video links by unit on topic. This is common. A lot of you have done this. Uh, I would encourage you to use this one. Use the H5P interactive video tool. Dalam dalam Elip ada. So kalau kita pergi ke Elip ni, kalau you add activity, Click this one, interactive content, add. So, yang ni you bagi sahaja, uh, video, video, I just put one word, video. And then you go for interactive video. I just, search, just search for video here. Interactive video. Click this one. This is under H5P, eh? interactive content dalam Elip activity and then you will you will see this sama pula load ni okay dah okay what happen is ada yang kalau kalau you selalu kata oh susah-susah hai buat video tapi you all tak tengok bazir masa je saya buat video panjang-panjang you all tak tengok macam mana you tahu I tengok ke tak cik sir <laughs> contoh so what how what how to how do you encourage how do you encourage learners to do this so instead of just Put the link directly you might want to use this interactive video so let's say video a b c whatever lah kan you add your video add a video ni jangan lah uh, upload directly you upload to the uh, youtube first 
and then key in the key in the URL of the video, right? Mana mana lah. Uh, let's say I just get one now. Let's say this. Sorry. Uh, my video. Let's say this video. So I put the, the link here. Insert. And then add interaction. So video ni you dah masukkan, you dah upload ke YouTube. And then you, you put the link here. You can add interaction. So how do you know whether they watch your video or not? You chunk up your video to, to certain quizzes. What certificate quizzes? So uh, contoh yang ni, I can watch. Okay. Hello everyone. This video is a follow-up. Like... Contoh yang ni. So you nak tambah soalan. So you berhenti kat mana yang you nak. Right? Spot, stop at which, whichever place you want. And then you can add this one. Multiple choice for example. So you can click the multiple choice. And then ask the multiple choice question. So let's say question one. What is... The function of A. Okay, contoh. So A, B. So contoh correct action is A lah. Huh? You can add more if you want. Okay, C. Okay, done. So let's say if I were to play this a bit down. Some of the challenges that you might have encountered when you are using Loom and FB Live and at the same time. So you see. This one will appear. So if they do not answer this, then you kind of know that they miss. They miss the uh, either they miss or they don't. They have never watched your video at all. So you can chunk it at certain parts so that they actually watch until the end, right? Of course, your video should also uh, you know structured in a way where you have a a chance for you to ask questions or get some responses. There are many options here. Multiple choice are there, true, false are there, fill in the blanks are there, right, drag and drop. You can do the drag and drop matching on the video itself. So they have to watch the video and then respond to the question. So once done, if I were to save this, this is on Elip itself. So if the student go to this one, you can name it nicely, lah, you know, activity one. So you click. Then the video will be loaded, just that it comes with this one. If I were to drag a bit here, might have encountered when you are using Loom and FB Live. This one, so they will see the question. So what is the function of A? A check done. Okay. Now, some of you may say, oh, they can skip. Of course, they can always skip. I mean, they can skip. They can even go to the question, but. It depends on how you ask the question. If your question is, you know, answerable without watching your video, it actually means that your video is not needed. <laughs> you know what I mean? It also informs us that, oh, maybe we don't need this video because I can answer the question without even watching your video. So might as well uh, focus on the key concept and then ask questions where you, you, you know, you, you will be able to test whether they have watched your video or not. So you can have multiple points of... Uh, uh, asking the question so they will watch until the end and even if they skip to certain part let's say they skip to the question and then they try to scheme and find the answer that's also a skill because they know how to find the right answer all right so you don't have to like be so concerned about susah i buat sampai berapa jam tapi you tengok through minute je well that 10 minute is the most crucial part or the golden part for them right so um, yeah and then different learner will have different focus some of them may already know that already they without watching your video they already know the information so um, so they don't really watch the whole length some who are a bit weaker, they will watch the whole video. So you don't have to be so concerned about whether students are not watching your full video. In fact, if you can find a video where it's watched by every single student, I can salute you, right? So usually they will go chang by chang, okay? Unless, of course, it's a very short video, like a 30 seconds video kind of thing. But if it's a lengthy video, it's very hard to sustain them throughout. And no point as well, because even when we watch video, certain parts where we know we will skip. Just like how we watch movie as well. We don't watch, sometimes we don't watch the whole thing because we kind of know which part is more important, right? So we will just skip, okay? Okay, I think that's one. Another one that I, I think um, can be useful is you can use it as a short explainer for assignment. Now, this is, this is I notice this happened a lot during MCO because I myself get it and I see a lot of you, uh, you know, um, academics commenting about 
student asking you about assignment late night and uh, you know blah 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 you know a lot of issue because you, you put it in the written form only and some of them may not be able to understand so i do encourage you maybe to supplement your whatever you have written in your rubrics in the form of written form you might want to have a video focusing only on the uh, assessment kind of thing so i'll show you some sample here a uh, quick one All right uh, where's my file here okay this is a sample of what I meant. Imagine if your rubrics can be done in a way where, um, you know, it's in the video format. I just, I, this is one example using Prezi. Uh, yeah. Not sure whether you can see it, but. So this is actually an assignment, but uh, it's explained briefly and it's supplemented by a video format like this. So you see, uh lecture one let's review write a short summary of blah 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 and then this is by professor spinel there are five main topics we are going to cover you know and all that so so you explain a bit on the assignment it's just a sim simple right blah 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 i mean i'm, I'm not going to play the whole thing but i'll share it on the link so you can stay tuned for a little bit and then date time so Instead of putting it in a form of uh, written form, you might want to have in a in a interactive video kind of format. And if, let's say, your explanation, your your written rubrics and uh, instruction is in uh, is in English, you can also record it in the Malay version. I think that would help you to explain the, the the assignment better because, or else you'll be explaining you know over and over again on the same thing, and then they still don't get it. So if you have a video done, at least you minimize or lower down. Uh, the numbers of people who will be asking you so yeah, and then you don't feel you don't feel uh, frustrated when they ask you right i mean when a lot of students come and ask you a lot of things another option that you might have heard is flipgrid this is for students assignment actually if you want students to create content and then share it with you flipgrid is an alternative just a quick one i'm not going to go into detail but you can explore this used to be paid now it's fully free microsoft acquired flipgrid a couple of months ago and now it's fully free uh, you can you can log in educator login using um, using your uh, your Unimas email right the Microsoft email or you can use Gmail right sample is like you can you can have like they upload certain assignment video so it will look like this so if I were to go to this uh, link I will be able to see the students feedback. So this is like everything chunk in one class. So instead of let them uploading it to YouTube, they upload it here on Flipgrid. So you get you get like a whole list of video they have produced in a very systematic manner lah. Tak perlu, tak perlu them upload to YouTube and then, you know, share the link and everything. So Flipgrid is an alternative for, for that purpose. Uh, the thing is, because it's mobile friendly, so they can just launch the mobile and then start recording them. Macam dia buat Instagram video because it's easy, easier to upload. Kalau you ask them to edit and then upload to uh, YouTube, they can say, that, oh, I don't have time to do this. This is for a continuous kind of activity lah, or even continuous type of assessment where no heavy editing is required. Okay. Um, I think that's all. Any question? Kalau ada soalan? Feel free to ask me kalau ada nanti. Uh, just email me or just WhatsApp me lah, which whenever you like to ask on certain tools. Ada soalan tak? Kalau ada soalan lain, Cik Ciman, email ataupun juga WhatsApp. Terima kasih banyak-banyak kepada Cik Chua Ciman di atas penerangan dan atas sharing yang sangat berharga kepada kami. Tadi Cik Ciman telah melangkah tentang YouTube, menggunakan YouTube pergi screen pass, anime, anime dan juga Adobe Spark dan saya rasa kita boleh uh, kita boleh explore setiap uh, uh, setiap app ataupun site ini dan kita ambil kita guna mungkin satu atau dua yang kita rasa user friendly untuk diri yeah. satu pun okey eh, satu pun tidak apa eh. yang penting kita cuba untuk explore dan kita cuba untuk kita cuba buat sedikit eh. dan mungkin itu akan lebih akan memotivatkan kita lagi untuk uh, buat video-video yang akan datang eh. Terima kasih yeah. banyak-banyak Encik yeah. Tuan Okey, pengumuman terakhir adalah tentang untuk yang ada di sekitar site makanan dan untuk yang berada di YouTube dan yang telah berdaftar dan berada di YouTube boleh 
pergi ke bilik uh, Puan Hasina, Hasina Wahab di level 2, the extension uh, extension dia 4547 yang berada di ni di faculty bolehlah ambil di bilik satu kalau boleh sebelum pukul 12 uh, tengah hari, asal tak ada di bilik saya dan di bilik Puan Hasina okay, makan, terima makan. kasih semua ya. terima okay. kasih di atas uh, kehadiran dan dan selalu kita dapat memanfaatkan apa yang kita pelajari, apa yang kita yang Encik Tuan Kiman share pada kita hari ini. Okay, salam Assalamualaikum dan salam sejahtera semua. Alright, bye-bye. Thank you everyone.